Hello friends, thanks for your comments on this uh, Husqvarna mower here that we're having all this problem with. Um, yeah, most of you, well pretty much all of you, were talking about the choke and, you're, and you were talking about the uh, mounting gaskets, which were all good things that we're going to check over right now. Okay, now as far as the choke goes, um, you, could, you could actually hear it. It's closed all the way right now. There's a couple of other problems that I thought, thought of in the meantime, but what we're going to do right now is I'm going to unbolt this uh, carburetor here. We're going to check the gaskets and make sure they're okay. I'm going to mount the carburetor back up without the air cleaner box on it. And then I can show you better about the choke. And I'm pretty sure we'll be able to start this up without this air cleaner box. Because the only hole, extra hole that's in the uh, carburetor is the uh, suction hole. So I think it would still start up okay. And then what we'll do is we'll start it up on the cold start. I'll set the camera up alongside the carburetor here when we start it up. And then you'll be able to see that the choke is coming off. And... There was also mention about the uh, thermo wax uh, choke stove, I'll call it. And that's what pulls the choke off. But there's more to that, and I'll explain all that in about in a minute. Um, yeah, so let's begin by... Unbolting this here. I took the recoiler off and the top cover off so we can see what's going on better here. And those of you that followed this know that I ordered the wrong carburetor for it. So you can't just go buy a GBC 160. Because there's at least two different carburetors for this. And I'll show you what I did. In case, for those of you that don't know what's going on. There's a problem with the choke linkage. So I changed over the choke linkage. And I'll show you something else that I may have, uh, should have changed on this carburetor. Now... It's a new carburetor. I changed the uh, choke linkage over. But who's to say that the new carburetor is not a bad carburetor? You never know, you know? Or uh, maybe the insides of the carburetor are diff different, not compatible with this engine. That's why we're getting the uh, hard starts here. But I'm not really sure trying to look all right so far it looks like the gaskets are fine so far but I want to take this box off I'm probably in your way this is kind of hard to film here Then there was this one gasket here that has a suction hole, and you got to make sure that that's lined up properly. And from what I could tell, it was. So, here you have the gasket that's on here is in great condition for one thing. This is the thermo wax. Um, choke stove it's mounted right in here and I'll show you why I don't think that that's the problem okay so I'm just gonna get this all oriented orientated properly here Okay, so you want to put this gasket on here, 
Let me get the bolts through here. Yeah. Even when you have the uh, box on here, you want to start feeding your bolts through. Because it, it'll be the box, a gasket, and we're going to leave the box off for now. Here. And then this is like part of the choke linkage here. This plate here. Nope, can't do that yet. Gotta put this gasket on. This gasket goes on here. Like so. And then you have this part of the choke linkage here. Then I'm putting on backwards, upside down and whatever. So these gaskets, it, the gaskets on good on this. The gasket stuck to the uh, engine here, the other one, and then we just bolt it back up. I'm pretty sure it's okay to start this up without having the air box on. And then I want to show you my thoughts about the choke. I don't think I'm wrecking anything here. I think it'll be alright. Give it a snug. Alright, so we have that carburetor snugged up here. Okay, so on the accelerator, I changed, like I said, I changed the uh, choke linkage to the new carburetor because that was wrong. Now, back here, you have the throttle linkage here. From what I saw in the illustration of the right carburetor, and I think I know this for a fact, that when you start the engine, of course, the governor linkage is going to be full throttle, okay? Once you start the engine, the throttle will pull off to the normal operating RPM. Now, from what I saw in the illustration, on the throttle linkage, there's a stem, which acts as like a choke pull-off. This one doesn't have it. So what I should have done was I should have changed the throttle linkage also and put the throttle linkage from the old carburetor on a new carburetor I think that's the problem we're having to where this is not pulling off after we start it up and that's why it's taking so long for the uh, choke to open because I think from there when you first start this thing up and it pulls the choke off some when it goes to operating RPM and then that thermo wax uh, choke stove takes over and opens the choke. So when the engine's warmed up and you set the engine off and you want to empty the bagger, the choke will stay off to keep the engine, the warm engine from flooding. But as you can see, we have no action with the choke pull off here. So I think that's one of the problems. Like I said, the second problem that I think there is is that the either the CFM in this carburetor is not correct for this engine, I'm not sure, or we could just have a bad carburetor, because that happens. I mean, just because a, because a part is brand new, doesn't mean anything, these days, anyway. Um, 
All right, so what I'll do off camera is I'll just button this back on. I'll put the cover on, I'll put the recoiler on. I'll set the camera up. You may want to mind your ears because it'll probably be kind of loud. And I'll just put the camera, I'll set the camera up uh, right at the uh, carburetor here so you can see that the choke is opening. We'll see how many pulls it starts. I'm pretty sure, like I said, I probably said it twice already that it'll be okay to run it without the uh, air filter box on. So give me a couple of seconds and I'll be right back to you. Okay, so like I said, mind your ears because it's probably going to be a little loud. I think the moral of the story to this is going to be to uh, order the right carburetor in the first place. I think the model, the engine number starts with an HU or whatever. I'm going to have to uh, take a picture of it. But HIPAA did, did have uh, the right carburetor for it because I could tell by the illustration this time. I really took my time and looked, but I'm still going to go by the uh, engine model number there. So let's see if it'll start at the air box. I'm sure there's enough gas in it. Looks a little low on gas. Let me put some gas in it. I'll be right back to you. I took the spark plug out and sprayed some brake clean in there. I don't think you're really supposed to try to start these up without the uh, air box on. But the choke did come off when you saw me poking in there. The last time I was poking in there with the screwdriver, it, the choke did come off. So I guess I'm just going to order a new uh, carburetor from HIPAA. And we'll see how that makes out. And then when I get the new carburetor, we'll go over what I was talking about with the choke and the throttle linkage. And I don't know, it ran smoother without the air box on while the choke was on. I might just throw the air box back on it. I'll let it cool down. And we'll give it another start today. I, I don't know. We'll see. But I am going to, I'm definitely getting a new carburetor for it. Uh, so... All right, so I'll be back to you in a couple of seconds. I'll let this thing cool off for a half hour, an hour. I'll throw the air box back on and just wait for the new carburetor. Today's Friday. I don't know what the date is, but if I order it today, the carburetor should be here by Wednesday. 
I really, I'm really anxious to get this thing done and out there and sold already. We're approaching the middle of August here already now. So, all right, so I'll see you in a couple of seconds then. Okay, so I wasn't thinking. The reason why it wasn't sputtering when I had the air box off was letting more air in. Um, and you definitely can't start these up without the air box on. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start it up one more time and it'll probably sputter till it warms up. And then we just have to hope for the best with the new carburetor that, that that'll cure it. If I put the new carburetor on and it still has a problem with that uh, thermo wax choke stove, I have to order one of those too. And hopefully I can get this thing out by the end of the summer and get it sold already. So I want to thank everybody again for uh, all your comments on everything. My eyes, the machine. Um, We'll just have to see what happens. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And take care. But we're going to start it up one more time before we close out completely.